In Dante Alighieri's Inferno, part of the Divine Comedy, Male Bolge is the eighth circle of hell. Roughly translated from Italian, Male Bolge means evil ditches. Male Bolge is a large, funnel-shaped cavern, itself divided into ten concentric circular trenches or ditches. Each trench is called a bolge. Long causeway bridges run from the outer circumference of Male Bolge to its center, pictured as spokes on a wheel. At the center of Male Bolje is the ninth and final circle of hell. In Dante's version of hell, categories of sin are punished in different circles, with the depth of the circle symbolic of the amount of punishment to be inflicted. Sinners placed in the upper circles of hell are given relatively minor punishments, while sinners in the depths of hell endure far greater torments. As the eighth of nine circles, Male Bolje is one of the worst places in hell to be. In it, sinners guilty of simple fraud are punished, that is, fraud that is committed without particularly malicious intent, whereas malicious or compound fraud, fraud which goes against bond of love, blood, honor, or the bond of hospitality, would be punished in the ninth circle. Sinners of this category include counterfeiters, hypocrites, grafters, seducers, sorcerers and simoniacs. Dante and his guide, Virgil, make their way into Male Bolje by riding on the back of the monster Gerion, the personification of fraud, who possesses the face of an honest man good of cheer. But the tale of a scorpion, who flies them down through the yawning chasm that separates the eighth circle from the seventh circle, where the violent are punished. Dante and Virgil plan on crossing Male Bolje by way of the system of bridges, but find their path disturbed by many broken ledges and collapsed bridges that were destroyed during the harrowing of hell. They must then cross some of the bulges on foot and even rely on demons to guide them. Eventually, they make it to the inner ledge where, after a brief look at the giants, the babbling Nimrod to the hostile Ephialtes and heavily chained Briarius. Virgil convinces the giant Antaeus to lower them down to the ninth circle's frozen lake, Cocytus. The Malbranche threaten Virgil and Dante in the fifth bulge, portrayed by Gustave Dore. Thirteen demons known as the Malbranche, Evil Claws, guard the fifth bulge of the Male Bolge. Their leader is Malacoda, while the others are Scarmiglione, Barbariccia Alicino. Calpabrina, Cagnazzo, Libacoco. Draghainazzo, Serrayato, Graffiacane, Farfarello, Rubicanti, and a thirteenth Malbranche who was never named in the text. They try to trick Virgil and Dante by telling them of a path which does not really exist. The ten ditches of the Male Bolge, in descending order, are listed thus, panderers and seducers are punished here. They are forced to march, single file around the circumference of their circle, constantly lashed by horned demons. Sinners guilty of excessive flattery are punished in this bolgia, immersed forever in a river of human excrement, similar to what their flatteries were. Tice the Hetera is found there. Simoniacs are punished here. They are turned upside down in large baptismal fonts cut into the rock, with their feet set ablaze by oily fires. The heat of the flames burns according to the guilt of the sinner. Popes condemned to bolgia three all go into the same font, the earlier ones pushed down by the later arrivals. Astrologers, seers, sorcerers and others who attempted to pervert God's laws to divine the future are punished here. Their heads have been twisted around to face backwards, and thus they are forced to walk backwards around the circumference of their circle for all eternity. They also are blinded by their tears, therefore they cannot walk in straight paths. The seers Tiresias and his daughter, Monto, reside in this bolgia. Grafters are punished by being thrown into a river of boiling pitch and tar. In addition, should any of the grafters try to escape the pitch, a horde of demons armed with grappling hooks and barbs stands guard over them, ready to tear them to pieces. Hypocrites are punished in this circle. They are forced to wear heavy lead robes as they walk around the circumference of their circle. The robes are golden and resemble a monk's cowl but are lined with heavy lead, symbolically representing hypocrisy. Also, Caiaphas, the Pharisee who insisted on the execution of Jesus, and all of the Sanhedrin are crucified in this circle, stake too. The ground so that the ranks of the lead weighted hypocrites march across him this bulge houses the souls of fraudulent thieves. In Inferno 24, the thieves are trapped in a self-perpetuating cycle of being bitten and bound by serpents, dragons and other vengeful reptiles. Thieves are bitten by snakes, turning their bodies into ash before spontaneously regenerating their bodies again for further torment. Others are bitten by snakes and are transformed into snakes that, in turn, minister the punishment onto other souls. Here, the souls turn against each other, reflecting how theft breaks the intrinsic bonds of trust and community that holds society together. In Inferno 25, 
the pilgrim witnesses a group of Florentine nobles violently latch onto each other, transmuting their bodies into a monstrous hybrid. These transformations reference tales from the metamorphoses of Ovid, such Selmachus and her fusion with Hermaphroditus. Just as the thieves robbed others of their property, this punishment robs the fraudulent thieves of their most inalienable properties, their bodies and identity. In this bulja, the pilgrim also meets Vani Fucci, a thief who lived in Pistoia. Vani Fucci delivers a prophecy about Dante's fate in Florence before throwing an obscene gesture towards God and is punished by the centaur Caucus. William Bouguereau, Dante and Virgil in the 10th Bolgia The 8th Bolgia is dedicated to the counselors of fraud, individuals who provided fraudulent advice or used fraud to bring about the downfall of others. Here, the souls are burned in brilliant flames. In Inferno 26, the pilgrim meets Ulysses and Diomedes, in the form of twin flames, who are placed in this Bolgia for using the Trojan horse as a trap to besiege Troy and for deceiving Achilles to war. Ulysses tells an altered version of his last voyage, instead of returning to Ithaca, Ulysses and his crew shipwrecked in front of Mount Purgatory in a quest for knowledge. Ulysses' last voyage draws many parallels to the pilgrim's journey in the Divine Comedy. Both embark on a journey for the pursuit of greater understanding. In Ulysses' case, his pursuit for knowledge was misguided, which ultimately lead to his spiritual shipwreck. Unlike Ulysses, the pilgrim's journey is ordained by divine powers. Thus, the pilgrim's journey into the self will not end in disaster. In Inferno 27, the pilgrim encounters Guido de Monafeltro, who was placed in this bulge for providing fraudulent advice that lead in exchange for a promise of salvation. From Pope Boniface VIII. He first asks the pilgrim about the current state of affairs in Florence before narrating what led to his downfall and eventual placement in hell. Sinners who, in life, promoted scandals, schism, and discord are punished here, particularly those who caused schism within the church or within politics. They are forced to walk around the circumference of the circle bearing horrible, disfiguring wounds inflicted on them by a great demon with a sword. The nature of the wound mirrors the sins of the particular soul. While some only have gashes, or fingers and toes cut off, others are decapitated, cut in half, or are completely disemboweled. Among those who are tormented here is Muhammad, prophet of Islam and his son-in-law and successor Ali, who both eviscerate their own bodies. And Bertrand de Born, alleged agitator of the revolt of 1173-74, who carries around his severed head like a lantern. Falsifiers, those who attempted to alter things through lies or alchemy or those who tried to pass off false things as real things, such as counterfeiters of coins, are punished here. This bulge has four subdivisions where specific classes of falsifiers endure different degrees of punishment based on horrible, consumptive diseases such as rashes, dropsy, leprosy and consumption. Among them is Mira, who suffers from insanity after she seduced her father. The lower edge of Malebolge is guarded by a ring of titans and earth giants, many of whom are chained in place as punishment for their rebellion against God. Beyond and below the giants lies Kokaitis, hell's final death. Thanks for watching.